Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Random Roars and this is unboxing number 5. If you wanted to jump to a specific topic, there will be a timestamp below the description box. If you have watched my previous videos, I have told the story of how I discovered diamond painting. I did not know what diamond painting was. I frequent arts and crafts stores such as Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joanne, Tuesday morning, but I have not seen a diamond painting kit. So seeing a diamond painting kit being sold to a mainstream retailer was a surprise. I bought this kit last year, June 30, 2018. When I first saw this at Michael's, I did not buy it immediately. For me, the price was steep and it played the factor of why I deter from buying it. When you go to Amazon where I bought my first two kits and search for diamond painting, there are many you could buy at a cheaper price. Initially, I thought all diamond painting kits are made the same and you would probably relate to this story that sometimes when you watch those advertisements, they exaggerate the product for it to look good on the ad. For real, when I first saw a diamond painting ad, the painting was shimmery like blinding shimmery. I literally thought it was made of diamonds. When I searched on diamond paintings, it gave me the links to Amazon. When I saw the price range, I was perplexed like how can it be this cheap if it was made out of diamonds? I placed an order and when I received it, I was underwhelmed thinking it comes with shimmery different colored diamonds or crystals but it was just dull plastics. The diamonds they refer to are resins or acrylic beads that are cut in different angles to create facets and those facets reflect light as if a shimmery diamond. I know I should have known better or read further but anyhow I'm still happy that drills are made of cheaper materials than a real diamond because if it was made of real diamond I probably won't afford this hobby. A few weeks later, they went on sale, so I got this kit half the price. The image you are seeing right now on the screen is the render of the artwork in the diamond painting form. I am reading off of the Diamond Dots website and it says that all their designs are meticulously interpreted by one of their designers and all their designs are either proprietary or licensed. The images used in their packaging, the website, the catalogs, depicts the finished model that means you know exactly what you are getting and how it will look like after you finish this project. Aside from the price cut, I bought this kit out of curiosity coming from my first diamond painting unboxing which was underwhelming. Will there be any difference primarily with the quality of the beads? When you go to the website, you will find more information about the kit. I'm surprised that it's under intermediate skill level comparing to advanced i feel like this kit is more difficult to complete considering the amount of confetti in this artwork on their website you could also use this magnifying glass to further look at what seems to be a completed project the starry night is my first and only diamond dots kit personally i prefer a pool painting which means that you embed the diamonds on the whole canvas instead of just some parts of it. As of now, most of the diamond dots are partial. Another kit that I'm thinking of buying from diamond dots is entitled A Big Wave of Kanagawa. I do love Japanese culture and this is one of the famous woodblock print. If I get this though, I'm buying it not because of the painting but because of a collector's item included in the kit which is a 13 faceted etch blue glass crystal. I just noticed while browsing the two kits are under two different websites, the Starry Night at diamonddots.com while the Waves of Kanagawa is at diamonddotsathome.com. Another difference is that on the diamonddots.com you cannot buy a kit online while the other you can do so. It looks like it's the same company because the logo is the same and the tagline which is add sparkle to your world is the same. So I'm assuming that they are the same brand. But please comment down below if this information is incorrect. 
The top part of the box has the Diamond Dots logo, while the bottom part of the packaging has the image of the artwork, item code, canvas, and drill area size. On the left side is a QR code. I tried scanning it, but the link no longer works. This kit was bought more than a year ago, so the link might have been updated. On the right side is another image of the art, and below it, it says that the image displayed is a true representation of the finished project. The image of the finished project wraps around the left, front, and right side of the box. The title and item code is written in the front. On the back side are instructions on how to do a diamond painting and the contents of the kit. I like how generous the brand in printing and putting the image of the art on almost all sides of the box. They carefully thought of the design and anticipated that consumers will buy more than one. If you buy more than one kit and stack it, you know which is which. As an example, this is how I stack my kits from Diamond Art Club. They have a sticker of the image in front of the box but not on either sides or at the bottom of the packaging. Since the boxes are stacked this way, if I'm looking for a particular kit, I either have to unstack them or create a label for each one. Dreamer Designs have a sticker of the image on the front and at the bottom of the box. When stacked this way, you can easily see where each kit is located. However, if you file them sideways, you again either have to unstack it or make a label for each box. For me, so far, Diamond Dots takes the cake in terms of designing their packaging as it solves this minor problem. No matter how you stack them, you could easily locate a specific kit. I visited Michael's in Joanne two days ago and in the new packaging, the image is even printed larger on the box and it, it, it still has the sticker at the bottom. Some might say, well, we aren't drilling the box anyways, but with this thoughtful and attention to detail, I appreciate it especially if we, the consumers, are paying a premium price, so kudos to Diamond Dots for that. Inside the box, we have the canvas, the toolkits, and the drills. It also has some more thorough instructions that are written in 10 languages. Here we have a gray funnel boat tray, a comfort grip, the drill pen, some small bags, and the wax that has its own container, which I think is neat. It also helps the wax from drying faster. They did not include a multi-placer. My theory is because this painting is confetti heavy, so you might not use a multi-placer after all this. It is not included in the kit. I am not sure though if there are other kits that have more color blocking has a multi-placer. Based on their website, the canvas is made up of 100% woven polyester fabric. The sides are scalloped which helps in preventing fraying. The advertised size is 58.8 by 48.6 cm for the canvas and 50.8 by 40.6 cm for the design or drill area. I did measure it for the canvas size, the length is accurate but the width is short by almost 0.5 cm, which is okay since I will be cutting it anyway. The measurement for the drill area is true to size. The legends can be found on both left and right side of the canvas. Below is another print of the art and the diamond area. Since this is a full painting, the diamond area is the same as the print of the artwork. If you get a partial painting, the diamond area will only show the area where the diamonds are to be embedded. 
you can also see the dimensions we've talked about earlier. Again, I do like how generous they are in printing the image, not only on the box but also here on the canvas. As a personal preference, I like glancing on the image while working on it. I do replace the clear plastic so the print gives me a visual of where I'm at. It is also nice that they print the legends on both sides. So if you are working from right to left, top to bottom, or vice versa, you could refer to the legends easily. The canvas easily flattens. I also did not notice any wrinkling, bubbles, or rivers. Again, based on their website, they use a proprietary adhesive, which is engineered by industry experts using a high-tech formula specifically for Diamond Dots activity. On numerous videos I've watched on YouTube, I surmise that if the canvas has a clear plastic, it is most likely poured glue, and I'm assuming this is poured glue instead of a double-sided tape. I dab my fingers to test the stickiness of the canvas to the corners and the lower right, top right and top left corner are good but the lower left corner is weak and I might use my own glue on this area to stick the diamonds. One thing I have wondered is the shelf life of the adhesive. Now that I have decent amount of kits and unable to do them immediately, most likely they will be in stack for months, possibly for years. How long can I stack them before the glue totally degrades? This kit was bought June 2018 and it is now November 2019, so that is one year and four months. Definitely the time affected the strength of the glue. Because of the status of the adhesive, this kit will be on my next queue after I'm finished with my all dogs go to heaven by diamond art club but if it happens to any of my kits where the tackiness of the adhesive is lost maybe i could just use a spray adhesive that is repositionable as to not waste the kit it will be just painstakingly laborious especially to the larger ones but again this kit was bought more than a year ago so Maybe Diamond Knots also have improved the formula so that their adhesive will last longer. I like that the glue does not overshoot the drill area because some of the canvas it does and when it does I have to cover it with washi tape or any like masking tape or the paint tape because if I don't then it will collect dirt, dust and debris and also we have pets, so sometimes pet hairs can be stuck on the glue. These two kits I bought last September 2018 and I only started working on them this October of 2019. So that's one year and one month. I have only been drilling the top portion, but surprisingly the strength of the glue is very good and comparable to Diamond Art Club. You might be asking why I keep on buying when I know I cannot do all these kits soon and eventually the adhesive will degrade. Honestly, I also ask myself why. Sometimes I'd say I am at no buy state and I'd come across these good deals. Heartful Diamonds for example. This is one of the many company that I have been hearing in the diamond painting community and I wanted to try them. On their clearance section, the Mother of Dragons and King in the North, the price is reduced from $49 to $9.99 in a 40 by 50 centimeter size, which is I think a very good bargain. And since I am a fan of Game of Thrones, of course I bought both of it. Another is the Daughter of the Sea King. By Mandy Manzano on Diamond Art Club. It is on a discontinue list and it has been on my wish list since August of 2019. They are running a 30% off for VIP members early Black Friday deal. So, since this kit is on a discontinue list, once they run out of stock, it will never be renewed. 
So it's either I have to buy it now or lose the chance of owning this piece of art. The 30% off is a bonus because I would still buy this without the discount code. Yeah, I know I'm just rationalizing these purchases when honestly, most of them are bought on impulse. And now I digress. Here are the legends. There are two pairs that are almost similar and might be confusing at first which are A1 and A25, A27, and A38. The print seems clear, but I might have to use a light pad for the darker area to see better. They use ink, which is permanent, waterproof, scratch and fade resistant. It is also non-toxic and eco-friendly. It has circles, which some refers to as training circles, or training wheels. Some people like it and some people don't. Personally, I don't mind it. With the two paintings I'm currently working right now, both have circles and lines. Some are completely covered, but those that are not, they are not that prominent unless you look into it. With this painting, if the diamond does not cover the whole training circle, the dark hue of colors will hide the uncovered area of the circles and it won't be noticeable. The diamonds are also called beads or drills, which can either be a resin or acrylic. The Diamond Dots diamond is made of epoxy resin, 2.8mm in size and has 13 facets. The round diamonds from Diamond Art Club has 26 facets. Even though Diamond Dots has lesser facets, it does not necessarily mean it gives a lackluster sparkle. In fact, while I was flattening the canvas, I put the drills on the side, but the glimmer of the diamonds catches my eye that I thought they have an AB or Aurora Borealis diamond. Also, the sample they have at Joanne at distance, I thought some of the diamonds are AB because of the sparkle, but when you get closer, it is just the regular drills. Maybe the sparkles are like pixels on our smartphone. Each year, the pixels of the phone gets higher and higher, and I've across a video of an expert, and he was explaining that there are only certain number of pixels that the eye can see, so even the pixels gets higher, the eye can only see so much. So, these resins are small, if it's cut into a lot of facets, the surface would still be rounder and kinda negates the reason of why these facets are created in the first place. Since the diamond dots resins are cut into lesser facets, the facets are more prominent. Maybe I could compare it to a disco ball. It reflects light into a more linear fashion instead of a convex reflection. I am not complaining with a 26 faceted diamonds. I do have a lot of kits that has that. I'm just saying that do not discount the lesser faceted diamonds like the diamond dots because the glitter effect is still impressive. This painting has 38 colors. Diamond dots does not provide the DMC code. My favorite colors in this scheme are the use of blue. As of the upload of this video, Diamond Dots does not provide an option in terms of diamond shape and the painting size. The price has not changed since last year and it is still $29.99. I got this kit at half the price as it was on sale during that time. 
comparing to other sellers at this size and quality the price is just right the 50% off is really a good deal if you want to get this kit I suggest you get it at Michael's or Joanne's or Hobby Lobby because almost every day they have a 40% coupon which you could check out on their website or when you download their app or join their mailing list to conclude this video here is just a recap of the unboxing and if you want to know more about my project rotation and if you want to see my current works in progress and some possible kits that i might feature in this channel um, watch until the end of this video again thank you for watching